But yeah, that is what I will be playing today. I will be playing some Outriders. I'm playing the demo for it. It seemed interesting. Initially, I, I thought it was... Um, I thought it was... A... Uh, what's it called? Games of service games, like a Destiny or... Uh, or one of those, but for some reason, I, I was just looking this up, and it doesn't say it's got that big multiplayer thing. I don't know. I might be wrong. It might be a games as service kind of thing. I'll look at it again just to be sure, but... Is it? Yeah, Outriders is not. And will only receive expansions or DLC if there is demand. Oh, okay, interesting. It seems like it's just a, a single-player looter shooter type deal, which is interesting because we nowadays I, I I was gonna say that everyone's just jumping on that bandwagon of it being a looter shooter and it being a games of service, but I'm kind of happy it's not. So I honestly, when I first saw the trailer, I was like, oh, not another one of these. But I, it's kind of a breath of fresh air seeing that it's not. <laughs> So, uh, we will see. It's a, it's up to three people in a team, and we'll see what it turns out to be, and how lootery, how shootery it is. But without further ado, let's jump in. Oh, here we go, here we go. Come on. Hey, there we go. People can fly. What did they make? Okay, I'm not going to touch it because it, it already tried crashing on me once. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. <laughs> Here we go. Today, we shall see victory. A great new altar fights at our side. This sounds generic. Let's hop into it. Let's jump into it. Earth was dead. We had destroyed it. Two colony ships were built to carry us across this mass effect. Only one ship made it. We're all that's left. After an 83 year journey, we orbit our new home. Also, this game feels really edgy. <laughs> so far. Even in the trailer, they're all like, cool, and like, yeah. Nice graphics. I don't know if this is pre-rendered or if this is the game already. Engines off. I feel like it's pre-rendered. Now this would, will be the real game. My computer isn't complaining yet. Is it complaining? No, it's quiet. Almost looks like home. That's what worries me. Well, boss. You ready? Got my truck. I'm gonna scout ahead on foot. Need to stretch my damn legs. I'll take point. Don't need to see you get eaten on day one. Relax, outrider. You don't know me anything. Cap, I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. Exposition. Let's move up. Stay sharp. Watch our sixes. Okay, so clearly we have too much <laughs> sensitivity. How? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't understand. Valheim is probably the first game I've ever played that gets sensitivity right. Mouth, is, mouse accelerate. Valheim, I didn't have to touch it. Every other game, it's so overly sensitive. Now it's under-sensitive. Uh, but I'm surprised. It's it's a brand new game and it runs really great. <laughs> new meaning to wavy. Would you smell that air? I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on Earth. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. 
Okay, interesting button for mantle. Hey. No matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. My weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jacob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume? It's really gone? She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ACA's confirmed no communication since. Oh, shit. You know, I, uh, grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really, long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, I wasn't gonna live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I always harp. I'm gonna. I think that's just gonna become. <laughs> He's a goddamn rat. <laughs> um. But the number, the number of times I think I'm just gonna harp on writing, and just the script in any game. Like we played, what was that game? Triangle Project Triangle it was also a Square Enix game. This game doesn't this feel like an odd time for these two people who are planning stuff and like we gotta get this ready, we gotta move. Suddenly sit down and have a heart to heart chat here. It's not like it's a mo it's it's not appropriate. This is just exposition. They're they're like, why did my character suddenly go like, yes, I didn't think I would live. He lived twenty years on Earth. I was a street rat. I was. A Where's that coming from? Why are this? Anyway, <laughs> I have a problem with a lot of writing in a lot of games. Only a few games do it right. Only a few games do it well, honestly, which is sad. I wish more. Attention was given to the writing and dialogue in games. The handful of games that do it right, oh, it's good, because they're doing a good job. Uh, you know what? Red Dead does a good job. Uh, from my memory, I haven't played it in a long time, but uh, I was talking about it earlier today. Mass Effect does a great job. Um, they don't overexpose on the wrong times. Sometimes there is a, a time and a place to, for you to like tell your story and some this doesn't feel like it. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> also, the cutscenes seem to be like 30 frames per second. Cause then when it goes back to the game, it's pretty high FPS. Which again, surprising. Last day on Earth was a nightmare. Okay, time for a story. See now this this is fine, I think, because you're choosing it. So it's not like they forced their story down. Like, you're choosing, oh, I want to get all the flavor text, and I think this is fine. But I feel like this whole interaction, even with the last guy, it could have worked super great if they did something that, once again, I, as I was thinking about it, they're like, oh yeah, Mass Effect did it. They drop you in in an action scene. So you're right in, you're doing your first mission, you're on the field. Speaking about the first Mass Effect, I guess the second one does that too. No, nah, eh, kind of. But the first, no, it does, it does. Okay, anyway, drop you in in the action and then you go to a hub or a place like the ship or this base encampment where you sit down and you get to talk to everyone. Starting with this can be very slow. Number one, you, you don't even know what's going on. You're like, oh, oh, we just got out of the ship. Like we're having it explained. This could have been done in a cutscene thing and said, yeah, I think it could have been done it's for us to get to know them, like a quick cutscene, boom, what is, what are the relationships, what's going on, and then drop right into action. Then we come back to a base type thing, and then you can choose to talk to them. Then you can choose to, like, learn more about these characters. When you drop into a game, you don't want this out of the gate, and this is the first owie since you came a little bit later. This is the first chapter of the game. This is how the game starts, and it's going to... Everything you do here transfers to the real game. So the beginning of the game is this. So I just wish that they had maybe, you know, remixed a little bit the order of things for this beginning so far. Anyway, that's just, just giving a few thoughts. Let's see. Uh, what do you think about Enoch? What do you make of this place, Jakob? And the audio's all over the place. Beautiful. And I feel like the mouth animation is actually pretty good. It, I, 
I don't know if it was hand animated. And... Or if it's like the automated lip sync, but if it is the automated, it's a really good job. If they hand did everything for this, I'm surprised, but if it is automated, it's actually pretty good. Because it's not great, <laughs> but, but it actually works pretty well. Space to enter cover, so it's a cover shooter. Fancy stuff. Yeah, a new toy. You're the first one to test it out, boss. Okay. Take on the tank? What <laughs> Just throwing yeah, tanks at me. Glad, but yeah, like, everyone's setting up. Why, are we, why am I having chit-chat with people? Like, if this was a day later or something as well? Alright, Shira. Let's see. Oh my Gears gosh. of Andromeda. This is stunning. I wish you could have seen this third. Hey. You're Shira, right? I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Now, if only we had an internet to post those two. Huh. That's for a scientific record. <laughs> Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing was backed up. I'm just pulling your leg, Shira. And they backed up everything? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do. There's a lot of useless stuff on <laughs> How can the probe signal? Spend years in orbit, designed structure, drilling rivets into the I don't know if this is friendly banter, or if they don't really like each other. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. Just not like the way you thought. What a weird conversation. Okay. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop harping on everything that they say. Hey. Is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 oh. That's a probe. Tanner. I think we got a signal. It's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing. So can land I didn't cube. do anything. It was her. Copy that. <laughs> hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh? Why is there always a selfie person in every game now? There is always a selfie person in every single game. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm not a selfie person. Hope you all brought your galoshes. Ooh. Jakob. Mm. Same shit, different planet. Ochevishtje. <laughs> Ooh, steak. Yeah, you were eating space cows, too. Just... If this is the first mission... <laughs> what is there? What is it just a black screen? Is this okay? Okay. <laughs> Piece of shit. The epic music played for a black screen and people stopping in the jungle. Ooh. See, that's cool. That's kind of cool. Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing, I'm good. Jesus. Shit. Get back to the ship! Alert the medics! What's going on? Stay back! Maybe we shouldn't touch the black goop. The beginning is kind of boring. I haven't done anything yet. I just talked to a bunch of people, technically. Here we'll get our first fight, but how much time are we into this? We're almost an hour into this. Okay. And see, like, they, they taught me... They taught me how to shoot. They could have just taught me that here, too. I, I didn't really need... If they're gonna teach me... Okay, you wanna play? Then let's play. Okay, this is an actual problem. They have given me three different controls to climb things at this point. 
They said control. Control would let me climb things. They said space would let me climb things. And now they're telling me to use E to climb it. Is it because it's a cutscene? But <laughs> it's really confusing. <laughs> I immediately press control and then press space. I'm like, wait, it's telling me to press E. <laughs> but I guess it's because it's a cutscene, but it's... Yeah, these are all small things, but... Also, that shaky cam, though. Mortal Kombat. Help me. <laughs> what was that? I know, right? The shaky cam's a little bit too shaky. Okay, something's actually. Ha I thought she was just screaming because her friend died. <laughs> Also, say this. Too much cutscene. Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. There's nowhere else to go. Look around you. We got men and women in need of medical attention. Now get your asses in gear and do the right thing, or I'm gonna have to... <sighs> no! Contain this. Now! Burn the fucking bodies! And that guy's just so generic classic bad guy. <laughs> no, there's no there's no like Oh! 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 I can't go into cover! I'm pressing the cover button! I'm going after Maxwell. I got Okay, there's some real inconsist inconsistency with with the control in this game. Let me use cover. I am pressing the cover button. The one you told me gave me cover. How am I supposed to? And why am I using a shotgun here? Can I just stand in the fire? I'm just gonna stand in the fire then. Whatever. <laughs> okay, this game is... This game is trying to... <laughs> to actually have real problems. If it's not going to work, <laughs> if every time it tells me something, it's not going to really work, then that is an actual problem. Tanner's backup rifle. What am I doing with this? What am I comparing it to? 106, 105. Sure, I'll switch it. Okay, so there you get your little lootery shootery kind of deal. And I don't like that double press on any direction makes you... Can I please cover? There you go. Now I press the same exact button and it works. Look at that. Also, people are really exploding. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> I'm just going. <laughs> so. How's my life? Oh, I still have a lot of life. So this game didn't really give me a difficulty setting, per se. So... It's pretty easy, and you don't need a lot of the cover. Hold E to observe. Don't let them near. Oh, am I gonna kill... The Why am I still observing? I don't want to observe the guy. Okay. I got a shotgun. 
Ta da dum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum. We have to get them to Metla. Over here! Come on, move your asses! <laughs> what? what was with the end of the. Okay, there's a lot of little things. It just. It's, there's, it's not polished. That's the thing. This game, like. It's super high budget seeming. But it's not polished in so many things, but like, like it can be polished and not polished in some things, but like, I don't know. I think Pyromancer is the way to go, especially if you're playing alone. Like you would, it, to have a tank would be great if you're playing in a group, and like some of these are support, great if you're playing on a group. If you're playing solo, I feel like Pyromancer is kind of the way to go. It's kind of your middle of the road guy. Uh... Sure, you won't be able to change this, sure. Plus, I like red. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah, this game goes really edgy. And where other games have made a point to make this a comedic thing, like Borderlands. What a terrible prologue. Okay, so I'm going to clean slate it. Let's judge the, judge the game from here. I'm judging the game from here now. Get out of here. Health regeneration. As a pyromancer, enemies that are hit by your abilities are set aflame and marked. Killing these enemies will restore your health. Okay. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna, okay, so it's one, two, three. I want to get to where all the guys are. Hi, just for grenade. Okay, I gotta get moving. Woo! Roll, rolling, rolling. Rolling. Okay, I'm gonna do the thing. Did I get them? Hey! I did get them. Hey, and he healed me. Oh, hello, guys. Did you just shoot a grenade at yourself? Also, I have to say, the fog kind of makes it hard to see some people because, like, they blend into the background. And I know that... I'm not a game designer, but I know that that's something that they pay attention to. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Things blending into the background, not good. I know that much. Like, I, I know that game design-wise, that's not a very good thing if things are blending with the background. Where is the guy? Oh. I don't really like the sniper right now. I am gonna, uh, yeah, I'll have a, a shoddy. Hold on. I've just woken up to mud and shit. I've been asleep for God knows how many years. 31 years. So for 31 years, I've been seeing people fight and die while you were getting comfy in cryo. So excuse me for not throwing you a little welcome party. You're the one who put me there. <laughs> what happened to you? The anomaly. That's what happened. You mean that storm? Hey, they're reintroducing the people. There you go. Oh, well, oh. setting higher world tiers will increase the game's difficulty, but offer better loot. Choose the world. Okay, so I definitely don't want to be world tier one. I'll be world tier two. Because world tier one's pretty easy. Watch me die over. An oh, this is easy. This is story. Okay. So I, I did. Before we go anywhere, I I did want to just say this. I may be judging this game super harshly right now, on special on story stuff like that, because I feel like I've barely had any gameplay. In like an hour and a half, I had probably like 10-15 minutes of gameplay. So that is mostly what I have to judge right now. And the gameplay I've see is what you get. I've just been running forward because it's very easy and Granted, they do have difficulty, and it is set on easy, so that's completely fine. They're not really- it doesn't seem like they're giving me access to the higher difficulties. Um, but, so that that's completely fine. But most of what I've had so far are cutscenes, and, and, and that's it. <laughs> also, it just really feels like the tone is super overly aggressive and dark. <laughs> Which... 
Especially with nowadays, I don't know how many people like that. So that's not like a positive or a negative, I just don't know how many people are into just this dark brooding stuff. Usually they like it with a little bit of comedy. I don't know, like what do you guys think? Uh, but usually, as far as I've seen, especially with the games that are popular, people like a little bit of a lighter tone, more fun and game. Rather than just like a game that's like this, that is just overtly serious. I'm looking for Jakob But I don't know. Because I feel like even games that are serious, say like a Red Dead, you wouldn't call that a comedy game or whatnot. Okay, so what's my ability number two? Okay. Um, say a Red Dead, or even a Mass Effect, they're not, they're not comedy games, but they, they have their more light-hearted moments, and I, I don't know, at least to me that's kind of more the tone that people tend to, okay, so that just straight up heals me. The kind of mix of tone where you can have these serious moments, but it's, it's balanced out by a little bit more light-hearted moments, too. It's not just like, ah. Anger and pain hurt me. That's another thing too. It feels very by the books. It, it's not bringing anything that new to game play necessarily. Like I'm behind cover and I'm shooting at people. <laughs> I guess just like Aoi mentioned, it, it's like a uh, Gears of Andromeda, <laughs> almost too. That's almost a little bit too perfect <laughs> to what it is. Oh. Like the little... Usually a song has a fade out. That kind of like had a fade in to the end of the battle. I feel like this probably does tap more into the crowd that loves looter shooters. I, I tend not to be that much into them, but as far as I know, from what I understand, looter shooters tend to have good stories whenever they're not games of service. Sadly, nowadays, that's more of a rarity than than anything else, but I don't know. It, it, it's just not resonating with me. Maybe I, I'm just not the guy for this type of game. I... No man's land. Okay, boss. Do you see a big tower? Yeah, we that's see a tower. To get. The old solar tower. But it's a mess out there. Everything's upside down. I went in with... Mass Effect expectations. Something that could be as good as that. Uh, sadly, not really the case. <laughs> uh, but I guess, like, it feels fine. When it comes to gameplay, it's fine, you know? There's nothing wrong with it, but it, it it's not impressive in any way. It's kind of your run-of-the-mill shooter, looter shooter game without anything too crazy about it. It's just kind of generic. Which, I guess is... Which is sad. Because I guess I, I kind of went in expect, expecting greatness. And I shouldn't have. But, it's not bad. It's just average. <laughs> yeah, so... It's a little taste of Outriders. It just feels kind of run-of-the-mill. Even the combats... I feel like you can tell a lot by how combat is structured. And this was just like, me versus them. Um, yeah, this game... It was very... It's sad. I think... Every game I try, I try because I want to like it. So this was the same thing for Triangle Strategy. Same thing for this. I go in expecting something new that I can love and enjoy. This doesn't have that. I know I'm bringing Mass Effect a lot into this. I guess I, I, I kind of brought this expectation onto myself. 
But even in something like that, when you are still covering, it's not just flat, 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 cover, cover, cover. Like, things were dynamic. You could, like, it was a big round or square area. So you're like, people weren't just like one side, one side. They were like all around. You were having to turn around and you were having to do stuff like it. And that's not the case here, at least so far. It's just one per one group coming here and one group coming here. And that's, that's all it is. It feels like game design from like 2008. 2007. Like, Gears 1 is much better than this. It, it, I'm also bringing that because it's also kind of like... Not to mention the bugs, yeah, no, it... And, and I think that can be ironed out. Obviously, it didn't make it very fun to play, but I think that that can be ironed out. But analyzing the content, that probably won't change, sadly. Uh, there's just so much that left they left on the table and again like i mentioned the the uh the tone i feel like they they went with this really dark gritty tone with zero like there are some light like comedy moments but the comedy moments don't really hit at least they didn't hit for me i don't know about you guys but it's just so bleak and dark and it's not fun, bleak, and dark. Like, Doom is bleak and dark, but it's fun. <laughs> um, my friend was saying the graph. Yeah, no, the graphics are great. Like, I... That was the first thing I noticed. I was like, whoa, this looks really nice. And it does. It does look fantastic. It looks great. It, it looks next-gen. In a lot of places, especially like with maybe a dozen. But like, I don't know, I like, I love the grass density, I love the colors, I love... Especially in the beginning, it was so colorful, so nice, and then it just became brown everything. Uh, but it has a lot of details, it has a lot of complexity, and it runs super well. That's another thing that can't go understated. It runs very well. It's on Ultra, I thought it was not gonna run, and it was running at like 90 to 100 frames on my computer, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> So it runs great. It, it really is the content. Like, the form looks great. The content leaves a lot to be desired. And, and that's a bummer. Because I think it, it had a lot of potential. And we'll see what the developers do with this. But it... I think my first thought still comes back. And it's that it was generic. <laughs> It was generic. It, this is kind of, it just feels kind of like a generic shooter game. And that's fine, some people, I'm sure hundreds, thousands of people will enjoy this. But, uh, I don't know, it's not to me, it just doesn't have... It doesn't have the flavor. It doesn't have an, a fun, a good flavor. Like, like I was mentioning before, games that have good writing and stuff, and like, even good flavoring otherwise, like even Red Dead. Some people didn't like Red Dead for for this story, but the writing is good, so like the dialogue, the moment to moment is super fun. Uh, it does it, it takes itself serious, but it knows when to pull that back a little bit. It knows when to have a little bit of levity. It knows when to have a little bit more of a just comedic moment. But thank you for for watching me play some some Outriders. It, it's interesting. It it's been a while since I've had these thoughts about a game. <laughs> It's been a while, so it's interesting. And it has, especially how much we talked about Red Dead, it kind of makes me want to play Red Dead, because I love that game. Red Dead 2 just, it made me laugh, it made me cry, not really, but like, it made me sad. It, it made me feel so many things, and I loved it. I, I love that game. Um, and I cared about the characters. <laughs> I really did, I love the characters in that game. All right, that's it. I'll be right back. It'll probably be a couple minutes. Take a bathroom break. 